So this letter was from the council, and yeah. you got this on the 12th of January. You moved in in November, didn't you? Yeah. And, and, and you got this letter, and just, just spell out what this letter says. That letter says that they, because the property is derelict, that they can compulsory purchase it. If there's any repairs to be done in it, they could take it off the price of the property. Yeah. And these properties are for migrants of... It's what they want these houses for. Extraordinary, isn't it? And how did you feel when you got a letter? You've moved into your new wonderful home, you settle down, law abiding citizens, yeah. and you get a compulsory purchase order from the council accusing you of occupying a derelict home. How did you feel when you got this? After paying two hundred thousand for it, we didn't feel very well. No. It must have been one hell of a shock, mustn't yeah. it? It was an awful shock. And when I got that, I felt sick. And when I went down, we went down to the council the day we got that letter, after we read it. And the lady in there, she said, don't worry about it, it's just a standard letter. We have been so hollowed out as a nation, we've turned our backs entirely on the territorial integrity of this country, to the point where it's become standard why to they, repossess houses. But why, why is this always that it's for the immigrant and not... The indigenous population. Yeah. Well, veterans are sleeping rough. Yeah. 16,000 veterans. terrible are, weather. Absolutely. Um, they can't get put in hotels or on a bivvy stock home. There is a daylight um, charity, daylight centre charity in, in, in Wellingborough, which looks after homeless people who are sleeping rough. And they spend £630 per annum per head. Illegal migrants get paid fifty thousand pounds. They get spent on them fifty thousand pounds per annum per head. And here we have the evidence of it in this letter. They wanted your lovely new home. Yeah. Unbelievable.